How's the uh, movieologist today? I'm feeling, I'm feeling all good, man. I got to get some food in me. You know, we had a you know nice, nice uh, productive practice, man. So you know, feeling it a little bit. Got to get some food in me. Got to get my energy level up. I'm there good. you go. I'm good. There you go. Um, Johnny, I think it's the first time we had a chance to talk with you since um, Max sort of rose up and um, sort of took over that quarterback spot. What, and I guess my, my question is sort of what have you sort of learned about him um, that puts him in position to sort of be the leader um, of the team at that quarterback spot? Um, you know, he's a hard worker. Um, he's earned it. Um, he's a great guy, you know, off the field and um, you know, man, we just uh, you know, ready to ride with him, you know. And and uh, one quick follow-up, as you look ahead to the season opener against the Dolphins uh, defensively, uh, what challenges do they present as you sort of look at them? A good defense. Um, got a lot of players that fly around. Um, got a lot of guys that, you know, make plays on that team. And, uh, you know, we just definitely got to bring our best football come Sunday. Um, you know, those guys um, – Got some young guys, man, that are very active, and uh, you know, some older guys. You know, they got a lot of experience, so um, you know, we got you know bring our best ball and, and just be ready to compete um, throughout the week, and you know build that confidence in, in practice and then the film rooms and you know transition at the Sunday. Next question, Chris Ryan, please. Hey, hope all is well with you. Um, another question on on Mac. What have you noticed about his leadership style? And, you know, what have you noticed as, about him as a rookie leader as well? Does he seem like a rookie in how he leads? What has, has stood out to you? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, he's, uh, man, he's, he's been, you know, he's taking that role and he's just, you know, he's done a great job at it. You know, that's why he is where he is. Um, you know, he's, he's there everything, you know, he's supposed to he's supposed to do. And uh, like I said, man, we just, we just ready to ride for him. I'm excited for him, and, you know, got a lot of confidence in him, and, you know, we just ready to ride. And just how excited are you for Sunday, where this group has obviously been working hard. You guys came together in, in the off season, and there's a sense about how dynamic this offense can be. How excited are you to kind of get this started and show what this this offense can do? Um, yeah, man, we, we've uh, definitely put that work in, um, <clears throat> you know, building that chemistry. We got a lot of new guys that came in here, um, you know, so we just, you know, trying to build that chemistry on and off the field and, um, you know, create those advantages, man, as, as, as much as we can, you know, ultimately, you know, have that lead to, um, you know, in, in training camp and during the preseason, and, you know, until the regular season, man. So, you know, so it's just a stepping stone and uh, just something that we got to continue to build on. Next question, Alan Siegel. How you doing, Jono? How you doing, man? How you doing? Fine, thanks. Jono, obviously you had the preseason. You've been, you know, in, in OTAs and with this team for a while. But the first game is something a little bit different. It's opening day. It's your first chance in a, in a real game with a, with a new team to, to produce. And I'm wondering the fact that, you know, the Patriots showed a lot of, <clears throat> you know, love for you and in, in, in signing you, how much or how hard will it be to control your adrenaline? Because I'm sure you want to, you know, really go out there and, and do a great job on, on Sunday, starting Sunday with the Dolphins. Absolutely. Um, you know, man, it's, you know, I've had that, that rush since I was uh, five, six years old. You know, that's how I know I still love the game. And, uh, you know, part of being a pro is to be able to control, you know, all those um, emotions and uh, just executing at a high level. Um, so, you know, we'll all have, you know, we'll all be ready and fired up to go, man. And, you know, we just know we we out there to, to, to do our job and, you know, have fun doing it. It's a blessing, man. So I'm just thankful for every opportunity that I get you know, out there, and that's why, you know, every day, I don't know if you guys know this, but, I, you know, I, you know, I go on one knee and, and, and thank the Lord above, man, because, um, you know, I've, uh, I, I understand how this game goes. I understand that it can be taken away from me on one snap. Um, you know, I've had some scares throughout my career, and, uh, you know, just, uh, I'm, I'm, man, extremely uh, <clears throat> fortunate and blessed to, to, to take every snap out there because, you know, they all end up on one last play, so, you know, just as part of loving the game, man, is, you know, having those uh, 
like I said, there, there was a uh, you know pre games, there was pre game jitters, those excitements, you know, being fired up, you know, all of that good stuff. Um, but you know, being a pro is being able to control those emotions and execute on what you got to do. Thanks, John. Mm -hmm. Next question, Mark Daniels, please. Hey, John, we'll ball as well. Um, you, you are, you know, you are one of the new faces here on offense yourself, Hunter Henry, um, Nelson Aguilar, Kendrick Bourne, even, even Mac, there's just a lot of, a lot of new, uh, skill position players on the team. Obviously it's, it's one thing to do it in practice in the preseason games. It's another thing to do in the regular season. So the, sort of my first question is, do you have a sense of how good this group can be, or is this more of a, you know, you put in the work, you have to sort of wait and see how it unfolds. Um, you know, I'm not here to make any predictions, man. Um, you know, we just come in here, uh, you know, with, with a hard hat on and, and put the work in, you know what I mean? And, you know, we work and, you know, we expect, you know, those results to pay off. Um, you know, we're not, you know, in the business of making predictions. We're in the business of making it happen. You know what I mean? So um, I'll just leave it at that. Well, well, well said. Thank you, John. Yes, sir. Next question, Mike Reese. Yeah, there we go. Janu, um, what's it been like getting to know Hunter? Man, great guy, man. Hell of a guy. Just like, again, you know, one of those guys that um, we had, I had, the, <clears throat> I had the advantage of, uh, you know, just getting to know each other, man, you know, during this all season, you know, among a, 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 a other group of great guys, man, and, you know, just an uh, honor, man, to be among such a great group. You know, it's a lot of great guys in this locker room, man. You know, that's one thing I say, uh, you know, I'm only speaking for Hunter, but, you know, um, you know, I've just been around so many great guys, you know, on this team, man, and, you know, you walk into a locker room like this and, uh, you know, they embrace you, you fit right in, you know, you feel at home, man, and, you know, that's always, uh, you know, that's always, uh, you know, encourage you know what I mean to a, to a, to a, to a new guy coming in. You know, being able to make a transition, man. That, that team, that locker room, man. That's that's where it starts. That's what's about. us. we build the chemistry. You out there playing for one another. So to have a locker room that we got, man, it's it's, 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 it's a real good feeling. Not a great guys, man. Hunt's one of them. Next question, Mike Giotti. Hey, John. I'm just wondering if you're getting a sense now for how the team prepares for a game like this. I know Bill has said that uh, you guys have been sort of focused on Miami more than just the last week or so. Yeah. Um, well, you know, kind of how that transition is during week one. You know, you got a little bit more time um, on the first game. Um, you know, so we just, you know, take it, any, any opportunity, man, that, that we can get to you know, the focus on any of our opponents, man, whether that, you know, that time may be off time at home, but, you know, you got to be professional about it again. And, uh, you know, getting the edge on your opponent, man, and, you know, knowing the personnel, um, you know, I think that's where you can really separate yourself, you know, during, you know, yeah, we got the hours here, but, uh, you know, in your downtime, man, really cracking that and cracking that to play, well, not necessarily the playbook, I mean, that too, but, you know, just cracking down on the film of your opponent, you know what I mean, and just getting to know your personnel and what you're going against. And and now that it's game week, do you want to give us any revelations on the ways they're going to utilize you on Sunday, some of the special ways we saw no, you in no, game? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> hey, you can't blame me for taking a shot at it. I'll, I'll be wearing number 81. That's all I like. You know, all right. I'll, I'll, I'll keep it up. Nice, <laughs> Last two questions. Uh, Andrew Callahan, followed by Levin Reed, please. Hey, John, I want bums, but uh, I'm glad you're at least keeping 81. It looks good on you. Um, so I, I know we've been talking about you and Hunter basically since you guys signed here, but we haven't seen it because obviously Hunter missed some of the preseason with an injury. So as much as you've seen this offense together in practice, what it has it actually been like? to practice with him on the field as opposed to what we've been doing so long as just talking about it? Um, yeah, just, uh, man, it's been great. You know, just, uh, you know, us feeding off each other, energy working, pushing each other, um, you know, and then on the practice field in the weight room, uh, you know, two alpha males, man, just, uh, you know, being able to give, you know, give, you know, give each other a push, man. And, the, you know, the greatest part of it, you know, that's my guy, you know what I mean? And I'm his guy. So, um, you know, we got each other back. I got his back. You know, I know he got my back. You know what I mean? So it's, uh, you know, it's definitely uh, good to have a guy like that around, man. And, you know, of his, 
um, you know, playmaking ability, you know, something that we can definitely bring, um, you know, to the table, um, you know, part of my game and we'll, we'll rub off on him, part of his game rub off on me and, you know, we just, you know, help each other get better. One more, you know, going back to the preparation question about looking ahead to Miami as a tight end, you could see linebackers, you could see safeties and coverage. How do you prepare for so many different players who could be defending you kind of when you're out there running rounds? What are you looking at? How do you prepare yourself? Yeah, man, man, I'm looking, you know, like, like, you know, you know, we'll, we'll see. And I, I'm, it's not Sunday. Um, so, you know, you don't know what they'll come out and, you know, you don't know what, what they'll have on me. You know, you just kind of got to put yourself in, in the situation that like, okay, I could probably see this look, I could see that look, um, you know, and I just got to prepare myself to the best of my ability. And, uh, you know, that comes with, um, you know, knowing what I got to do, um, being confident in what I got to do, which I am. And, um, you know, knowing those guys across from me, man, you know, that, that's huge. You know, just getting to know your, those those players and, you know, who they are. Because, you know, you, you like, again, you never know, you know, what can happen. Guys may get hurt during the week. Guys may go down. Guys may move up the depth chart. Guys may move down the depth chart. Um, so you just got to know those guys who are going against. Thanks, John. Go ahead, Levin. Uh, final question. It's a simple one. Just for those of us who don't know, what does week one, as you're getting ready for that first game, feel like? What is it like to get into the locker room and everybody knows the anticipation for that first game is there? What is that feeling? Yeah, man, I say this all the time. It's like the first day of school. It's like the first day of school, you lay your clothes out on the bed. <laughs> and that's what it's like. I mean, the hotel room, just looking at the wall. You know what I mean, man? So, um, you know, that's, that's those, man. That's how you know you love the game, man. So, you know, we got to stop talking about this now because, you know, I'm getting those – those week one steals right now. I got to wait a couple more days. All right. Thank you. Thank you, man. Yes, sir.